church of the streets. Praise the streets. Praise the streets. It's your boy, the real Rick James. I'm Nino G. This is my last time being a young OG. That's my OG <laughs> forever. And this is the podcast. Podcast, because a nigga ain't got time to be naming this shit. Yes, sir. Back we, at it. You, Back at I it. guess we ain't never left, though. No, huh? we ain't never left on the yeah, air, yeah, but yeah, yeah. they don't realize we, we, hey, we was... We we decided we gonna work hard. What what I mean, work smarter, not harder. Smarter. Shoot a, shoot a few of them motherfuckers so y'all can keep content. Yeah, yeah. While yeah. we taking our breaks, getting our lives together, you feel me? I got a few. Um, well, we ain't really taking no break, man. Let me let me say the church announcement, man. Oh, yes, sir. I got a few. That's what I was gonna say. I got yeah, a few church announcement. Hallelujah, Amen. Praise praise God. You know what I'm no, saying? Praise due to the Most High. Hey, Amen. Congregation, I'm gonna give y'all two hundred dollars as soon as we get to a thousand subscribers. I'm a, I'm gonna match that. Four hundred dollars when we get to a thousand subscribers, we're gonna pick out the pot, man. Let's run it up. Four hundred for a thousand subscribers. Let's run it up. We could buy some. Let's tell them the drink. <laughs> we could buy subscribers for way less. <laughs> We want organic yeah, shit want out the mud shit. because I heard mud was thicker than blood. Hey, man. That mean, uh, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend. Though. Tell a friend to tell a friend. All you gotta friend. do is hit that motherfucker subscribe button, man. Let's run this shit up, man. We got hella game on here for all our followers who really be in tune. Y'all know we got hella game, man. We we need to be spreading this shit, man. Let's run them subscribers up. And we got, and we not gonna give it to the thousand subscriber, or maybe we will. I got a, um, I got a website that will put all of y'all in a raffle and uh, pick organically. So we won't even oh, have a sweet, solo. Sweet, sweet, I'm with that. See, he ain't even tell me that. So that's something I just found out. We gonna pick y'all randomly. You know what I'm saying? Four hundred, man. So it could be you. Subscribe. You gotta be in it to win it. Let's go. Let's go. Um. First church announcement on my behalf. I want to send us prayer to Sue Surf. What's going on, sir? He called a Rico. Dang. He been on the spaces. Damn near crying and shit. I don't know how he got a Rico and he on the spaces. I don't know if he... So, first of all, all my church announcements, I don't know none of the facts. Yeah, because you know he got a Rico. I know he got a Rico. That's the fact. I know they charging that man trying to put him away. Forever for being a crit. That don't seem fair. Yeah, don't seem like you, don't seem, it don't seem like you should just be able to go through the city and pick up all the cribs. You That's know what basically I'm what they did with Doug and them too, though, man. I, don't, I ain't feeling this. So thank you I ain't for feeling this shit, man. Thank you for bringing me back to my original point. So he on the spaces, so I don't know if he... It's a, it sounds like a state, Rico. Yeah. Because it sounds like he out on by. This, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 85%. Yeah. But he could be on the run. He could be. Hey man, pray, prayers is too surf, man. I'm just saying facts, cause this this is all the shit that's on YouTube. Niggas is saying he on the run. Niggas is saying he out on line. Niggas is saying he ain't even got no Rico. Surf say who the fuck play about Rico? Yeah, nobody play about no Rico. So I wore my Sinetti. This what he wore to uh something at twelve. Yeah, pray, yeah, yeah. Pray, yeah pray. blue joint. Yeah, yeah. navy blue. Pray for you. I don't even know if you can wear that without kissing Rico. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm cream. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Damn, right after summer, man. This that came in my nigga with the Rico. Yuck. Pray for Surf. It worked for Steve. Pray for all these rappers, man. Pray for Thug. Yeah, pray and for all these rappers. And y'all know, y'all know, I don't really care for him, but I don't want to see no nigga be down uh, like that. Yeah. Surf said, um. Surf said this. I want everybody to hear this too. Surf said, your day ones don't mean your sandbox, niggas. I agree. Them niggas are tired. I agree. Hell yeah, I agree with that. Your day ones mean, you know what day one means. Your me. day one You know mean, what it mean for you. Let me say what the nigga said. Yeah. Surf said, your day ones mean niggas that been real with you since you since the first day you met them. Yeah. That's his exact quote. That's what I agree. I agree. Yeah, I agree. So I want y'all niggas 
to um, realize just be, I don't want you to be a slave to loyalty. Let's go back to the last shit yeah. because I, one of them niggas, his sandbox nigga, sound like he tell him. Ugh. So um, yuck. That's what that's what that's what they saying that nigga tell him. I, again, I don't know none of the facts. Yuck is what I'm gonna say to any nigga doing goofy shit from now on. Nigga, yuck. yuck. I'm still in that. I'm in no yuck. Yuck. And I'll prove this mess. Yuck. Yuck. Then you you know, nigga. Yuck, man. Draymond Green. <laughs> oh, what the fuck he God. did? Man, listen, that shit go down, though. Mm -hmm. In sports, that shit go mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. But not like that, either. First of all... Who wrong? <laughs> hold on. All right, we couldn't... We ain't had no audio, right? Mm-hmm. He could have been like, nigga, your dead grandmama is a bitch. He could have said, suck my dick. Yeah, he could have said anything. Yeah, right? don't invite me to your penis. Right, but I still ain't going to sneak you, though. Was oh, that a sneak? Man. You put your hands on me. Man. Don't put your hand he on me. He creeped all the way up and, and whispered in the nigga ear like, bitch, I beat you up. Then the nigga pushed him like, back up, nigga. He pop out. Yeah, don't put your hands on me. If I ain't put my hands on you, nigga, wait for me. Wait for me. Hey, public service announcement. I ain't your bitch. I didn't put my hands on you, whisper me. I'm gonna bop, bop your ass. I would have bop. If I was Jordan Poole, I would have bop his ass. No question, nigga. So, listen, who wrong? Should Jordan Poole have bopped his ass? Or should he not have put his hands on him? Or should Draymond not have been in his face? Nah, so if you talking about the fight, I'm uh, talking about the situation as a whole. Okay, shit. I don't know who was wrong. Drake Martin already said he was wrong, though. You feel me? He said he was wrong, so I'm going to get that man his wrongness because he claimed it. But if the thing never came out, who was wrong? Nobody. Shit happened. Motherfucker, we, we bump. We, we brothers. We, we men and we brothers. We live by shit. We bumping it and, and it keep it moving. So who was wrong? We don't know because ain't no audio. But Draymond shouldn't have been getting caught on camera looking like that. Down there knocking out his teammates and shit. Fucking! Bitch, he shouldn't have made you knock you out. Uh, Jordan Poole said that shit ain't hurt because he kept on hooping afterwards. Nah, That's what a nigga that get knocked out say. Got knocked out. Yeah, he got knocked out. He definitely got knocked down. I don't know if it was. You ain't see people fed and he was <laughs> I see that. Get this nigga. Up. Did Draymond get a suspension or anything? Man, I don't know her. You got a fine. They put him. They put him away for a week, man. They made him not come to practice and be in Jordan Poole face for a week. Let him cool down. That's, yeah. That's then Jordan Poole come out two days later, nigga, and do the best move ever in the NBA, <laughs> nigga, behind the back Euro step that was silly. <laughs> with a floater attached. Do that matter if you got knocked? If your mama seen you. No, I'm saying that's how he like. Nigga, he, he playing against Draymond in his head and shit. <laughs> Jordan Poole. <laughs> your grandma got knocked Your grandma seen you get knocked the fuck on your asshole. Get Did your you hear Draymond? I'm embarrassed. My family embarrassed. Uh, Jordan people embarrassed. He lied. Hell yeah, his people embarrassed. Nah, Jordan people embarrassed. His family ain't embarrassed. Man, his that, cousin <laughs> calling him crying like that. He, uh, he embarrassed. Oh, like, bitch, we don't get knocked out like that. No, 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 no. Draymond. Oh, yeah, nah, nah. Draymond yeah, family Draymond. not embarrassed. Yeah, Draymond people His not cousin embarrassed. calling him <laughs> crying <laughs> laughing with TMZ on repeat. On every day, you had to knock that nigga out, didn't you? What'd he say? What'd he say? Only G what'd he what'd say, say? Drake. What'd he I say? I want to know too, Drake. You know they call him Drake. 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 What'd he say? They call him Drake, Drake. Drake, Drake. What made you not that nigga? <laughs> Drake mom like, I'm sorry. Bitch, you ain't sorry. You would do it again. He might be a mindy. <laughs> Drake mom might be mindy. Ready to just fight them. No, I'm saying uh, that might be his name. Oh, yeah, Draymond, yeah. Drake mom, he might be a mindy. Oh, yeah, he might be. What's your next? Uh, Draymond, quit knocking your team ass out. Draymond, as soon as they play, <laughs> put your hands on each other. They ain't gonna make you pay for two hundred thousand dollars. Man, knock his ass on his ass. They don't know what this is. I'm gonna quit, like, I mean, quit that plan. <laughs> hey, Jordan Poole, you ain't about that shit. That push was weak. Man, that push was weak. How you gonna push a nigga that's ready to beat your ass? <laughs> Who the 
fuck do that? Man, that, I would have fired so quick. Soon as I figured out we that was finna fight, I'm stealing him. He came to whisper in my ear, he had to come to fight. I'm stealing him. ASAP, what's the next church announcement? Jordan Poole, we're getting knocked on your ass. Um, <laughs> Timmy Haddish and Harry Spears beat uh, their case. Apologize for... Uh, apologize to who? Bullshit. To them for being wrong, but not not for uh, what we talk. No, we ain't say nothing wrong. I just watched it today. We ain't say nothing wrong. We ain't say nothing wrong. Oh, we ain't say nothing wrong. No, we was accused no, of most of the shit, didn't no, we? No, we didn't. Oh, we didn't. We said if we don't know. Oh, shit. Never mind. Then. No Never apologies. Why don't I we jump out the roof? I just wanted to say the news, this, just like I did last podcast. I said when they caught the case, I wanted to say when the case got dismissed. The judge ain't even take this shit to trial. Just was just bullshit and said, bitch, you put your baby in the tub with a nigga. That's you, bitch. Was you standing there? <laughs> was you standing there? Bitch, you was behind the camera pushing oh, the cut. Get the, the fuck, fuck out, out of here. here. I don't know if the bitch was pushing the cut. That, I'm exaggerating, but you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, though, he's away. Like, yeah. That's her deal, yeah, bro. Get your funky That's ass like uh, sparkles in her. Never mind. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's like sparkles in her, her niece to R. Kelly. That's what he said, y'all. I ain't say shit. I ain't say shit. I agree. I don't need no G in the house for this man. Sparkle, you definitely uh, see the show. I'm going What's the next one, man? What's the song she got with R. Kelly? <laughs> What's the name of that song? Three years. What's the name of this is all I heard. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> she went for that motherfucking platinum plaque, boy. She, she was it. like, you can have my motherfucking niece. It's called Be Careful. Oh, yeah, Be Careful. Be, be careful, careful with, with it. it. Never mind, we ain't about to be Be safe. careful, Sparkle. Yeah, she should have been careful. Oh, um, I did shrooms last week. For the first time? Uh-huh. That's a cool little high, ain't it? No. You ain't like it? Nobody need to be that fucking high. I'm a weed smoker, guys. I don't put nothing up my nose, nothing under my tongue, nah, on my neither, tongue. Really. I really. I do some ecstasy. Did you smoke it or you Back ate it? Back in the days, I ate it. Back in did the days. Did you know you could smoke it? Um, I figured, no, it's a mushroom. Yeah, that's how I got high off of mushrooms. Um, and my nigga, uh, you know who you is, nigga. Hold on, let me say, let me say. You got me. I like used to do home. ecstasy. This is why I'm cutting you off. I'm going let you go. Mm-hmm. I used to do ecstasy before fentanyl got in the streets. Soon as it was fentanyl, no more ecstasy. You see, Amen. Amen. Amen and hallelujah and thank you. I ain't got time to be slapping you while you in that cat. I ain't trying to get so high, now. What type of nigga do that? Y'all ain't no fucking dope, man. You know we like happy dope, man. I'm a violent dope, fam, if I'm going to be. You know I'm naturally violent. I'm going to be a violent dope, Yeah, that ain't no good thing right there. But, uh, yeah, so my nigga nigga got me like, uh, your mama called me on my 18th birthday, too. My nigga done slipped the mushrooms on the blunt. Got me high in a bitch. That was one of the best highs and worst highs of my life. Agreed. <coughs> great high, high, but high no great, but the motherfucking after effects was horrible. Oh, um, I couldn't sleep. So that was I heard I was gonna have real vivid dreams and not be able to tell my dreams from reality. I didn't even have a dream. I couldn't sleep. Um it wasn't no good for me, man. I probably stayed up. The, was everything in synchronization? Like you heard everything move at once, like the motherfucker cut fall. It sounded like a beat to the TV cutting off and. Nah, but I was listening to some techno music on accident, and that bitch was hitting. That motherfucker be hitting. That's probably because you was, you was synchronized. With I the get it. I yeah. get techno people yeah. now. I be, oh, I man, get them now. They be gone. Um, it wasn't great though. I don't think nobody deserved to be that high. I was too busy trying to stay. In the world, because I could see how you can hallucinate, because shit started shifting. Yeah, me. but that, that ain't really like they say LSD is where you see a leprechaun jump from behind your couch. You ain't seeing that shit on shrooms. It's just like everything moving. Weird. Yeah, everything was shifting on me. Yeah, but it ain't like you. Ain't so gonna, I should have let that. You ain't go. gonna see some shit that ain't there. I, so I should have let it go. Yeah, you should. So you maybe was, I'll do it again and let it hot go. Yeah, Cause yeah. I thought I was gonna lose reality. I damn near might fuck with you on that. And, one, I, don't and do, I don't do. You know I don't fuck with drugs and shit. I don't 
but that could be just off special. Off the record, I'm too violent to be losing reality. Oh, uh, yeah, nah, nah, it ain't one of them, so. If I ain't telling you hell, nah, I ain't even mad that you are. Because you out calling, you know, dope things or nothing. You know strippers is cool. I ain't calling you know, no dope thing that did no shoes, but I don't think nobody need to be that high. <laughs> I just didn't allow myself to. That's probably why I couldn't sleep, because I just was fighting the high the whole time, yeah. trying to stay on earth. Nah, shrooms is a cool hot, though. It's a cool hot, but it is higher than weed. Way That's higher, and I don't think nobody deserved like to be that fucking high. Like ten times Why higher. What is we doing weed. up here? Why is we here? Who the fuck trying ten to get this high? Boy, you had... Uh, I got a birthday coming up, though. You had Pluto, like 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 your, like your brother, you said, higher than Remind Pluto. Remind me to tell you about Puerto Rico and my birthday. Okay, okay. Oh, off the record. Mm. Um, oh, last church announcement. Y'all know what it is, don't y'all? Y'all say it with me. Get the Patreon. Get the Patreon. Y'all missing out if you don't. I feel like on that thing, story time on that thing, and I'm not putting it out on YouTube for free. You go get the Patreon. And go you get, get all the that Patreon. Some shit. Hey, I don't know what else to tell you. You gonna get cussing. You gonna get street talk. You gonna get uh. You get the F word, all that shit on Patreon. You ain't getting none of that shit over here. I ain't say the F word. Don't be canceling with me. You did. F word on your life. Damn, I said that on oh, YouTube. You, you was fucked. And then, and then, and then look, 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 look. How long this we can't see? What you say? What you say? I'm going to cut it out. I ain't cut shit out. This the podcast podcast. Go. We ain't got time to name it. Y'all know we ain't got time to edit it. We ain't monetized yet. For hey, man. Real. I feel like. Say what we, yeah, let's go. I feel like. All niggas jag off. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but Juvenile and Lil E, the only niggas that ever wrote a song, a rope jagging off in a song. Oh, yeah, too many. I feel like Juvenile, the only nigga ever said, if I'm in a room with a bitch and a hold on one fuck like a man, I'm gonna beat my meat and get my fucking nut. Lil E sure. said, Lil E said, I was in jail on FaceTime watching them play with their pussy, jagging off to my little bank. Yeah. Hey, Lil E. You snapped on that motherfucker. Hey, I said LABT Wiki. Hey, y'all, we go check that out. Go check out that little E. Let's take facts. Yeah, let's take facts. What they know about me, know me, know I'm playing. I think he was talking about me. Hey, got that shit, boy. I think he was talking about me on that motherfucker. Them the only two niggas in the world that ever. What's little E thing? So they know. My family. My family on YouTube. Go check my nigga out, man. He my family on YouTube. Now. Uh, Kanye, man. That's what you want to talk about today? Love you, brother. I ain't even put no thought into this nigga yet, man. I love you, man. I love what you uh, stand for. I love your genius, even though people think you crazy. They say genius and insanity... It's like a line. Mm -mm. Nigga, you be jumping over both of them motherfuckers. I agree with that. Okay. Not uh -uh. Damn, so boy. You, you be jumping back and forth, my nigga. So, my favorite quote. I, I feel like I came up with this quote. Okay. My favorite quote that I like to tell people, especially kids when they feel like they different, is when Albert Einstein was running through the fucking... Thunderstorm with a kite and a key. That was a Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> yes, sir. Benjamin Franklin. Was running through the fucking thunderstorm with a kite and a key. Trying to get electrocuted on purpose. Mm-hmm. You don't think motherfuckers said he was crazy? Crazy as fuck. Do you plug your phone up at night? Yeah, he was trying to show how you conduct electricity from this to this you know what I'm saying? From this to this. This is how we get electricity to run. It, it got to go. And, and and even further than that, he proved that electricity comes from the ground and up, not from the sky and down. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So mm -hmm. it made us be able to put our shit where it needed to be, on the ground. Mm -hmm. So, like, I get I get it that everybody's looking at a motherfucker as goofy. But Crazy. I mean, that's crazy, but it was genius. It but was let me say genius. this about my brother, Utter Struggle, K. 
Kanye West. You have done great things in your life. So I'm not about to sit here and bash you because, number one, I understand you married a white woman and you have mixed kids. So you don't mean it the way that the average ordinary black person gonna take it, in my opinion. So, so what about the hard boy he wore with the Confederate flags on it? I just wanna get into this White Lives Matter okay, t-shirt for right now. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go to my point. My nigga, it's okay to feel like something and not be the face of it. You don't gotta be the face of every fucking cause. Let a white person be the White Lives Matter. Uh, face. Let a cop be the Blue Lives Matters face because I think that's what you probably going next. Diddy said, nigga, I got uh, support Kanye t-shirts printed up right now. He said, I gotta take a, I gotta push them motherfuckers back because my nigga is tripping. I disagree. You disagree with what? I feel like a nigga in his position should be the face for what he believe in. Because, and this is why, because if the church never got involved in the um, civil rights movement and we ain't have like a Reverend Jesse Jackson, a Reverend Al Sharpton, a Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, um, it would it would have just been the Black Panther Party. So you want to bring this conversation up that you don't even realize you're bringing up? I'm you just, just saying, sure. Reverend, Reverend, Reverend. They only want the black leaders to be reverends. Church motherfuckers. Okay, I agree with that. But I Get that goofy shit out of here. Look, Nino G, Rick James, Yayo, uh, Seaweed, all these motherfuckers got a voice and they, should, and they from the trenches. They the ones who can lead the youth out of that shit. Big Zeke from New Era. Kanye, New Era ain't, Kanye ain't white. Kanye ain't got no business being the face of some white shit. And I love you. So but you ain't got no business being the face of no white shit. I'm not saying don't speak your mind. I'm not saying don't be the face of causes. But you can't be the Face of the white cause. You black. I agree. Okay. That's, I thought you was disagreeing with that. I I'm disagree like, that, that you I'm not telling that man to shut the fuck up. No, no, no. I am. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> so let me tell you what I'm disagreeing with. I'm disagreeing right, with, with the fact that a nigga in his position can't be the face of every cause. He can't. He can't be the face of a white I just cause. said that bullshit out loud and it sounds He can't be the, voice, the face of a I white agree cause. With you. Yeah, he can't he, be the face of an Asian cause. My nigga, you black. But he can speak, though. He can speak, but he's been... Who got the first White Lives Matter shirt? This goofy. Exactly, man. What's, man. That, what's that whole name? <laughs> Him, man. Nah, that whole name. Uh, Candace. Candace, what you say in her name? What? Damn, we was calling her something else. Kombucha or some shit. We, just, we wasn't even giving her her real name. Oh, Kalamala? Kalam nah, not Kalamala. I was gonna say Kalamala. Nah, we talking about uh, Candace. We gave her a different name. I gave you a name, bitch? Yeah, we gave that bitch a different name, too. Stupid ass hoe. I shouldn't even dignify <laughs> you with that. I should just call you stupid ass hoe. But him is stupid ass hoe, so listen. I am um, telling you to shut the fuck up, yay. Nah, for real, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. It ain't... No. We can't let that type of energy get shut the fuck up. We can't let that type of energy get shut the fuck up. That nigga single-handedly is the one rapper nigga from anywhere that pushes the right causes. I feel like that's Boosie. Nah, I ain't seen Boosie do no free Larry Hoover concerts, my nigga. With the biggest rapper ever. Damn near. So, let me finish my shut so, the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, let me I finish gotta hear your shut the fuck up. So, you tripping now. You, so, I'm saying this, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. Stick to one thing at a time. Right now, we should be on free Larry Hoover. 
It's not time for you to go on crazy ass rents because they're going to try to, the white people, for 400 years and counting and still no reparations, they're going to try to <laughs> take your crazy shit and lump it with the free Hoover shit and act like the free Hoover shit is crazy. Man, just stop, bro. Just Fucking stop. Just focus on one thing at a time. Hell no. Nah. I understand. Man, we're not about to tell him that. And he, he done did rap. He done did shoes. He done did clothes. He done, he done took black people from uh, Fat Farm to Versace. That's what he did for Virgil, my nigga. No we not about to tell my nigga a genius to stick to one thing. So listen. You got to say it right, Nancy. Quit taking on other people's causes until your cause, which is your people, Larry Hoover, um, the shit you need, the the fashion shit that you want to get, whatever cause is, oh, is cool. But when it comes to a white cause, an Asian cause, a Latino cause, that now you stepping over boundaries. We ain't even right. So I got the words. From the most high. Check. Cause you tell my nigga to shut the fuck I'm up. I'm telling him to shut the fuck up. And Period. run for one office. Who do you know run for president and governor at the same fucking time? But when you dealing with politics, when you dealing with politics, you gonna run for Congress or you gonna run for mayor. You ain't finna be on two fucking ballots and whatever you win, you win. That ain't how that shit work. When you dealing with music, you can do your you music. You do some different shit. And that's the genius, huh? Yeah, let that man be, man. Like, look, you answering the question for me. Let that no, man Let that man do what he do. But my problem is, my only problem is, is he's taking on my cause or your cause instead of letting us take on our own cause. You get what I'm saying? Like he's taking on white people's cause. He's taking on he, my cause. No, I'm saying I'm using us as an example. Don't like, use me as an example, because he trying to free let I don't need That is my call. No, that's that's why we... I'm saying, I don't need you to come go against my mama, because she cussed me out. Agreed. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't take on my calls, nigga, that I can handle. Like, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Do you get what I'm saying now? Like, don't come going against my mama, because she cussed me out and you ain't like it. Because now me and my mama about to get on your ass. Yeah, I mean, on anything. Like, nigga, leave certain shit alone. If it ain't your business, it ain't your business. And white lives matter is not Kanye's business. Stick to free Larry Hoover. Stick to Versace. Stick to Louis Vuitton. Now you telling him to stick to some shit. No, I'm saying leave other people's causes out of our shit. My, your business. On certain shit. Okay, so let me use an example while I'm saying don't mind your business. Because let's say he wanted to free Jeff Ford. Would you have a problem with that? That's his business. <laughs> okay, okay, then that's his business. Because it's Chicago, so okay, let's say. Um, Deeper than that, he's black. Okay, that's what that's what you mean. Boom. We gotta we gotta give them perspective of what we trying to say. You feel that's all I'm saying. Like yeah, mind your business. I agree with that. Mind your business. Then, Everything ain't your business, my dude. And then listen, I'm not um. For some reason, when people hear Black Lives Matter, they hear White Lives Don't Matter. Nobody ever said that. Never said that. White lives been mattering. That's why they abolishing abortion. Can I say one more thing? Too? Yes, sir. The words Black Lives Matter is what I support, not the actual organization. Let me, let, let, let us, hold on. I'm glad he feel the same way. Let me get that established. I agree with the words Black Lives Matter, and I don't fuck with that organization, period. Fuck them. Whatever they That's got going. That's not fuck them. Nah, fuck them. Whatever they got going as an organization, fuck them. What they stand for as far as what their purpose was supposed to do, I agree with. Like, black people getting 
killed by cops. Unarmed black men getting killed by cops and it was wrong and black lives should matter. I agree with that premise. But I don't agree with the actions of the organization. So wait. Let Do you me, get what I'm saying? Let's slow down. You done fucked up. Did I just do too much? Yeah. Because I got a strong opinion on Dr. Martin Luther King. I would never sit on a podcast that's going to live a million years and fuck him. No. Not fuck him. Fuck the organization. Not fuck his message. Fuck the people behind him that... Um, is doing this and that and doing I that. I would fuck his message before I fucked him. Nah, the message gotta live on. Nah, that nigga message was non-violent. <laughs> okay, so it is fuck him for you then. And you should be able to say that. Nah, fuck because you message. Gotta, because you got an example of what you want to say. Fuck that message. By any means necessary, that's what you want to say. Yeah. And you got somebody that backs that. You can say fuck him because what he doing ain't conducive to what you want to do. Nigga, if you ain't going with me, then you against the grain. And fuck you. It ain't, but yeah, okay. That's I'm what sorry, man. That's if you going I'm against, out of you going against the grain, nigga, fuck you. Like-minded people only. Uh -uh. Like-minded people only. In my circle. And you can disagree, but we like-minded. That's why I can fuck with you. Yeah, we might not agree on everything, but like-minded people only. Like what you mean? Yeah. Push the same type of agenda, man. It ain't and I can't, fucking I can't, I can't, It's fuck you. I can't... How can this not be fuck you if I'm literally going to say, in, my, in, my, in the way I interact with you, it's going to be fuck you. Like, you going to come talking some shit, and I'm going to be like, man, I don't even listen. That's fuck you, right? You literally ain't gonna listen to nothing this motherfucker got to say because it's so opposite of what you stand on and what you stand for. So Martin Luther King, the type KKK, of KKK, fuck you. Yeah, fuck him. Why? Because they are against everything you stand for? Because they hang nigga. Exactly. Martin Luther King is like, get slapped and turn the other cheek. That's what right? Jesus said. And oh damn, you just said that. I wanted to I almost say. You just alright, there behind it. Jesus said. Yeah, I don't like that shit. I didn't see him do it one time in the Bible. I don't like that shit. Did you see him do it? I ain't seen him do it. But I don't know nothing about no Jesus, because baby Jesus did do it. But I know about Yeshua. Yeshua ain't do it. I mean I'm saying, I ain't seen him do it one time in the Bible. Man, that just don't make sense to me. And it never will. Like, that's the one thing God gonna be like, nigga, didn't you read Turn the Other Cheek? And I'm gonna be like, did you? I'm gonna say, would you? Can I slap you right now? And you gonna turn? I would you say, feel me? I would no, say like. Let me slap you and see what you gonna do. If St. Peter said something crazy to me like that, I would tell him, I did. I did read that. I, I watched it happen with Martin Luther King. And after he turned the other cheek, they murdered him, St. Peter. And then you know what they did after they murdered him, St. Peter? They murdered his mother in the church as she played the motherfucking organ. She didn't try to defend herself. She didn't try to run. She sat there and played the organ. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Just for one second. I'm going to play devil's advocate. That's a poor cho choice of words right now, right? Because we're talking about St. Peter. But I'm saying I'm going to play the other side. Boom. So I'm going to play St. Peter. Devil advocate type shit, right? St. Peter's advocate. St. Peter's advocate. Um, so you cherish that earthly life more than coming up here with us? Hey, man. Go get God. <laughs> he know my heart. Exactly. That's all I was saying. I'm not even about to no, talk no, no, to no. Peter, man. It's out of your hand. Like, get up out of here. It's out of your hand. 
hands. Man, let me in here before I slap you it's and see what you do. Yes. <laughs> yes. I bet you don't turn up. I bet you push that button to hell, don't you? I slapped the shit out you, took your halo yeah, and wore it around on, my yeah. neck like a chain. Yeah, exactly. So, like, don't don't come at me with this turn up and cheat shit. I, man, hell no. Man, my God. Do is, you think they My mark? God is a raffle God. A raff. A, what is it? Raff. Raffful. He's a revengeful God, God. A revengeful God. And a jealous God. Like, man, cut it out, man. He's revenge. My God ain't pussy, man. No, I wouldn't even serve no pussy ass. I wouldn't even serve no pussy ass. Turn the other Yeah, no, that sound like some, back. That sound like some clear book, but that was a fucking in there, nigga. Oh, there ain't that. Like, uh, that was some slave shit. So that's where the slave master put the shit in there. Well, that's the New Testament shit. You know shit. what I'm saying? That's that shit where they worded it so you could take it and. When they whipping your ass in the motherfucking fields, you ain't gonna whoop them back. That's that New Testament shit. It's no coincidence that the Old Testament, the Torah, and the Quran all read the same. Eye for an eye. Two um, for a tooth. Eye for eye, two for a tooth. That's Old Testament. Steal and I'm gonna cut your hand off. The Quran say revenge, revenge is prescribed. <laughs> That's why we hey study all the books. They all say the same shit. Study all the books. Study Except all. that New Testament. That shit don't say nothing none of them other books say. <laughs> Let's not get too religious on I'm these sorry. people, man. So now, to counteract that we just broke down our brother, right? And did we? We you told him shut the fuck up. Shut I told him quit up. taking the other people's causes. Now let's talk about the excellent side of him and whoever else is doing their thing. Let's congratulate and not just hate. You feel me? We talking black excellence? Man, I want to get into black excellence. Who is black excellence? For me, black excellence, the the best example I can give of black excellence is my nigga Boosie Badass. Okay. He, he connected to the trenches and he still do what he do. And he still look back. He still trying to grind and go higher. Master P. Black excellence. Snoop Dogg got Snoop Loops. Uh-uh. No. Uh -uh. Snoop Dogg got Brodus Foods. There, boy. Snoop Dogg got Brodus and so Master P. Me. So tell They me got me. Brodus Foods. What's that mean? They trying to take over. And put some shit out there that's gonna last forever, man. Black excellence is, and we ain't there financially, but what we doing is trying to bring black people up through our message. And if white people catch on to it, Asian people catch on to it, Mexicans take some of this, you know what I'm saying? Good. But we focused on black excellence. And we need our people to carry themselves in a certain way. And I always try to push the agenda of making us black be better. Black, define it. Black, by, by definition of what? The color or by what they say? Black isn't a color. Black is a color yep. because it's technically, that's the first definition. That's the main definition. It's lack of light. Nope. Uh, the color, the crayon, the motherfucking, uh, the opposite of light, dark, black. Let me define it. You gotta scroll down, but it's like the fourth definition. I said it ain't the main definition, is it? It's like the fourth so definition you... in Webster. Okay, boom. What's black? Black. The essence of color. It's not a color. It's the essence of of color, mm. of which all color come from. I agree. You can't, Out of the dark into the light. But can you make color from white too? White. The lack of color. The absence of color. Of color. <laughs> yep, the lack of color. Uh, in, in Spanish, mm. they would call it blanco, root blanco. word, blank. Blank. Nothing. The absence. Yeah, I agree. 
I remember that. I was at the lack of color. Absence. The absence. You mix them together and you get different colors. You take, you take, you take some of the color out by adding white. Yeah, you can create a color, but it come from black. It come from black. Mm, okay. So gotcha. I just wanted you to. So since we talking black excellence, you want you went into Asians and and Mexicans. I'm just letting them know they include it. Yeah, the, yeah. The essence of color. When I say black, I'm talking about the essence of which all color come from. Okay. Okay. Facts. Facts. I can't agree. I can't disagree with you because let me go deep one real quick. They Indeed. call us Asiatics. Oh. Asiatics meaning of Asia Minor. You know what I'm saying? Of Asia main, uh, Major. That means when all this was one, it was really Africa. But they called it Pangea. They just don't want to call everything Africa. But when it was all one, it was Africa. That's where all everything come from. Like you said, the essence of color was the black man. It was a and everything line. else came after. It was a key line. Africa is named after Africanus, which is a white geographer. What is Pangea? Pangea is some shit America came up with. Oh, okay. Um, I'm surprised they didn't name it New Pangea <laughs> like they named everything. Yeah, New Hampshire, okay, New York, okay. New Jersey. Yeah. New Mexico. How the fuck you got a New Mexico? Yeah. But, um... Yeah, everything started in that middle. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Everything was one. Everything was warm. Everything was beautiful. And it grew from there. Took its toll. And, As we moved off to the equator, saying? we separated. Yeah, and people got lack of color because they was in the cold where ain't no sun. And they went and in the then, caves. Yeah, and then other people... But that's way jump. too deep. Boom. That's what I said. My point was... I'm speaking on all of y'all when I say black excellence. So, I want to talk about what makes you black and excellent. Hold on, you gave your motherfucking shout outs. Let me get my back oh, black excellence shout outs. You talking about you? Alright, my bad. Damn, motherfucker. Go ahead. I got Jay Prince. Jay Prince is black excellence. My nigga on the island. You hear me? My nigga on the island. But you too young to remember when big folks told me. This nigga on the compound. And I was amazed. I read about it. I said, a compound? He said, they press up their own shit, meaning merchandise, CDs, T-shirts, everything. Meaning merchandise. They press up their own shit. Nigga, they record in that motherfucker. It's the center of operations. Mm -hmm. And he thought that was huge. And this nigga on the island. That shit was huge. He that shit is huge today. No, it is huge, but I'm saying, you see how far they done went? The nigga said, I got an island where everybody on this bitch works for me. He owns an island. Nigga, that's... <laughs> okay, I own a compound. You be like, damn. Huge. I said, I own an island. Look, <laughs> you don't even know what to say on that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's two different levels. Boosie on the states. Yeah. That's huge. Nah, huge. Kanye, even though we just talked about you, this nigga owns so much land, he can make a town or a small city. That is black excellence. And he said, I, uh, and what he was saying was, I want to get this open for black people. Black excellence. Let me finish my shout outs. I got two more. All right. Black excellence. Big Zeke from New Era Nation. New Era Nation. I ain't Detroit. here. I ain't here. New Era. I ain't here. You know, I'm they do the shutdowns together. Okay, yeah, so, I'm, I'm hip. Big Zeke. <clears throat> but I ain't hip to what he doing and like as far as money wise. Um, is it about money? Or kinda. is it about excellence? Kind of. Can I say kind of? And I mean it. Okay. More so than. More than what you probably even think. Money matter because that's the only way in America you can make change. He agree. So this is what he doing money wise. He keeping it in his community. Mm -hmm. We doing um we feeding the kids. Mm -hmm. We feed baby hungry because he he from Detroit. We feed the hungry, and even though New Era is all over the nation, he from Detroit. So he right. feed the babies in his community. Okay. And by keeping the money in his community. That nigga went to a church service one day, and they started off in a poor community. This is a nigga that wore gator shoes and drove a Rolls Royce mm -hmm. to motherfucking service. He started he started off the auction 
and a thousand dollars in a poor community where he feed the baby sack lunches because they hungry. Okay. He shut the service down. We keep the money in our community. I fuck with that. By that's, black excellence, I mean he go excellence. to the community meetings. Yeah, that's black excellence. By black excellence. By as long as he got the money to back it up, and you said he pulling up in the Rolls Royce, that means he got the money. No, no, and no, 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 feeding no, 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 He no, feeding no, no, them babies. He not pulling up in the Rolls Royce. The pastor that off opened. The pastor pulled up in the Rolls Royce. And Gator Shoes and said, we going to start the offering at $1,000 in a community where mm. people going hungry and he got to, and Zeke, Big Zeke got to feed the babies. They shut the church service down. Yeah, it would have, it would man. So, Bob. So, so, either way, if he was pulling up in the Rolls Royce, I still would respect it. But I even respect that more because he like, you pulling up in a Rolls Royce. Three thousand dollars shoes. Got the nerves. Got the fucking nerves to ask us for a thousand dollars. And I met these babies last night. I did. He and you didn't. And you wasn't with me. And you wasn't with me. Goofy ass. And if you was with me, you could pull up in that Rolls Royce. Uh, start the auction no off problems. at a, a thousand dollars. A hundred thousand. You I don't better care. be out here with me. You better be stunk down with and me. your church in this community. Oh no. And I'm feeding the babies no. at night. I don't even got no Rolls Royce. That's what black excellence looked like to me. He riding around the streets, making sure the babies get on the school bus and making sure they get on the school bus safe. Making sure there ain't no nigga picking them up, telling them to go sell a sack. So. For you, black excellence is the nigga in the hood that everybody gang banging, even OG. But he saying, little nigga, uh, what time are you supposed to be at school? Why you on the block? Ain't taking them to school. Get your ass about it. That's black here. excellence. That's black excellence. I'm Long saying more. that, uh, I'm saying that to say black excellence ain't about a level for you. I I kind of see where you're coming from. I got one It ain't no better financial level. But go ahead. Black Excellence is the only nigga that been on this podcast, on this couch. Your brother come home, own a business, come home from doing 10 years, didn't sit up and say, I just came home. I know niggas that been home 10 years still say they just came home. Mm -hmm. He ain't, I ain't never heard that nigga say, I just came home. I ain't never say, I just came home. I just, you know what I'm saying? Came home. Own a business. Own his own shit. Nigga, he is own boss. That's black excellence. I agree. And disagree. Let's hear it. Not saying, my nigga is black excellence because I know he do the same thing I do, which is give back to the youth. He gonna talk to little niggas and be like, bro, this, this ain't the plan. Like, that's the one thing me and him got in common. Like, if he ain't take nothing from me as a big brother, that nigga understood that nigga give back to the youth. And that nigga will do that. That's why he black excellence to me. As a black man, it's almost like, as as a big brother, I know my little brother look up to me. But he don't even realize I look up to him. Facts. Like, my nigga as a black man... He is black excellence for me because he do shit that I be amazed So by. tell me why you disagree. I disagree with just because he ain't there where he want to be black excellence for him because I know I ain't. Like, if we want to get that technical, nigga, what I said earlier about the nigga in the hood, I used to do that, but I don't consider myself black excellence because I ain't got the money to give back yet, but I will give back to my people as much as I can, but it, it might not change their life. It might just change their night. Okay. That black excellence got to be able to change lives. So Jay-Z, Oprah, Kanye, Boosie, they change lives, my nigga. Our cousin, our other cousin, nigga, he can change lives. He, he did the same thing bro did, but guess what he did? He said, nigga, I'm going to hire you, 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 take you out the hood. Like, taking niggas. He do that too. He I'm not saying he, he he working on it. He ain't there so yet let me for say me this. all the way. But I, I agree with you because I see the potential. So let me say, I respect real, I don't respect money. 
I respect real. I don't respect money. No, no dollar no. amount. No dollar amount can define black excellence to me, because I don't feel like a dollar amount can change your life. What's bigger, greatness or excellence? Let me finish my thought, and I'll get to that. All right. I don't feel like the dollar amount is attached to changing your life. That's why so many, that's why the statistics on people that hit the lottery is what it is on them going broke. Because mm -hmm. the dollar amount ain't what change your, change your life. What, what Cuz is doing, your brother is doing is showing niggas they can do 10, you got to show them. They showing niggas, you can do 10 years, never come home and say I just got out. Buy a fucking truck. Own a fucking business. That's excellence. Okay, what's the difference between greatness and excellence? Um, what's the difference between greatness and excellence? I don't know. So for me, that's so. For me, you can be great. My brother is a great man, like Kevin Gates say. I'm a great man. But excellence take the money. Excellence for me mean you are the epitome of what everybody is trying to achieve. Like my brother is, and you can ask my brother. I bet you, I guarantee you, he'll tell you, I'm a great man. i tell you, I'm a great man. He'll tell you the same, he's a great man. He's trying to get to excellence. Because that's what we strive for. He we strive it. for them motherfucking Jay-Z's. We strive for them Kanye's. We strive for them Boosies. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we striving for is black excellence. And we great because we doing it. I'm a die great man. Ain't nobody gonna have nothing to say negative about me unless I was picking on them or being super aggressive. Other than that, you're not gonna say he was a whole ass nigga. He didn't uh, help people. You feel me? Like, I was a great man. I tried to raise my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. That's what a great man do. We can be great men, but not excellent until we get to where excellence is. Excellence take 200 million, man. So, uh, ex so, so your daddy. Dead black excellence. So, your excellence is defined on a dollar amount. Because you already got the mentality to be great. Now you excellent because you got the dollar amount. So yes, I do agree with what you just said. Top five battle rappers of all time. I really wanted to do TM, man. Hey man, honorable mention for me. I'ma start. I'ma start. My first honorable mention. Big T. Why? He he the first URL battle of all time. No, Matt and T Rex. I mean, like that Matt. car. Okay. That car. Big T, I'm a, I'm a, uh, what you be saying? I approve this message. Big T, man. Boy, sugar, wugger. I've been into the hood of sugar. Every nigga and sugar hood of pusher. Any dot my member of all time is an honorable mention for me. Of all time? Of all time. Even like Snake Eyes? No, I'm saying. In this. So I'm talking about Mook. Uh, T Rex, K Shine, Nigga Daylight, all of them, they could they could be in anybody's top five. And they not in mine. They, I mean, they I have the talent. That. They have the talent. Why not move? He ain't been there, and I get a reasons why. Oh, okay. Do I get the reason why right now? I Mook mean, ain't outside enough, man. Mook ain't he enough. ain't outside enough, man. Okay. Another um, honorable mention, I'm going to go with two people that ain't. African American, and I'm gonna go Iron Solomon and Disaster for what they did for the culture of battle. Iron Solomon, young Iron Solomon, might have been the best white boy ever. Yeah, if but, I he to... mm. but he wasn't. But he wasn't. Oh, cause uh, yeah. <laughs> he might have been the best white boy ever, but he wasn't. Cause it, cause it and dude. then uh, Disaster. He done, he done killed some big names, man. And he, and he did his thing, man. And he done punched the motherfucker in the mouth and still uh, ain't got his ass whooped, all type of shit. Yeah, this like, ain't my cup of tea. Um, ain't your cup of tea, but he nasty. 
Yeah. It be tearing motherfuckers up. It's like DNA. Oh, boom. It's like DNA. DNA ain't make my honorable mentions. I'm just. Yeah, I would even name, brought his name up. I'm just saying, like Diz and DNA, like the same thing. And I not understand. to me, but I right. understand how they be winning. It just ain't. It ain't for me. Um, One more honorable mention. Sorry. Oh damn! Can I go? Oh, you got some. Go? All right, okay. I got plenty. I ain't think you had honorable mentions. Cause now I'm gonna go with the white boys. Now these nah. white boys. <laughs> If I had to give two white boys, it would not be this. It would be I am and Pat Stay. Okay, okay. Pat Stay, look at you go. Look at you I, go. That's my nigga, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, fucked I with Pat, Pat Stay. Uh, but still, uh, let me go. Let me go out of out of white boys because I was finna. Um, because that was just that was good thing. enough though. That was just an add on. Yeah. Um, I want to do Mook and Lux. And the reason is because they make everybody list. So I'm just going to keep them off my list because that's that's common fucking sense. You know what I mean? Okay. Most so, of looks common sense. I got a Hitman Holler, honorable mention. I got a Arsenal, honorable mention because he's been the top view battle rapper. A lot of times, you know, back and forth with DNA. And then, uh, Charlie Clips, honorable mm -hmm. mention. Mm -hmm. Um, now, I got... Oh, you got some more? I got Clips. Honorable mention. Honorable mention. I got Calico. Honorable mention. I, I approve this message. Damn, I forgot about my nigga Calico is honorable mention. But go ahead. Number five. Nah, I got one. Oh, you got one more? <laughs> who, you, who else you got? Honorable mention. I want to put him on the list but, so bad. But he ain't, so who is it? Let's hear it, because once you say it, it's fine to it as an honorable mention. You already put Lux in the honorable mention, and you, so whoever else you say, they deserve honorable mention. In my opinion, I got one more honorable mention. Let me see if this is the same one. Because you take it too long and I don't want pauses in the video. Hollow to Don, honorable mention. Mm -hmm. Oh, it ain't even Hollow? Who your honorable mention, man? Say this. Last honorable mention. Hollow, I swear you should have been in my top five. But I'm going to give the reason why my number five is my number five. But Hollow was a monster his whole career. Um, you don't even want to say it out loud. Yeah, I ain't got no more. Number five. Sue Surf. Mm, why? It's my favorite battle rapper of all time. And for me, that's the reason I couldn't make him honorable mention. That was, was I just almost putting me an honorable mention. For me, <coughs> it's no way. No oh, way in hell, sir. God's an green earth. Mention, for me. Yeah, nah, for anybody. For anybody. Sue Surf got to be top five. For me, if you watch that it, this nigga is honorable mention. It just ain't. It just no. Oh, I, I want to go back to honorable mention. Because... He might be in your top five, but he ain't in mine. Goods. Let me put Goods in there. Honorable mention, Goods. Yeah. I'll probably know G-Nah. I'll prove this match. I almost, I'll prove this match. I almost huh? forgot my nigga Who Goods. Did I see my goods is goods. damn near the best of the honorable mentions. To be honest. Facts. Like, that's, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. My number five was Pat State, man. Pat State, okay. The best white boy yeah. ever. The nigga had everything. Bars, stage presence, performance, everything. I fucked with him. I don't know how he slid under yo. It ain't because he just died. That boy was a motherfucking wrecking ball. He funny as hell. Funny. He serious. Look he got, you, man, man, come on, man. He smoked Tay Rock. Pat Stay was that thing, man. Tay Rock, honorable mention. Oh, damn. Damn, Tay Rock, honorable mention. Facts. Facts. The face of URL, so called. How the fuck did I yeah. leave Brock Damn, off my list? Damn, we both left Brock off our list. We both similar. Past they made mine. I know he didn't make his because he already called him honorable mention. Number five. The best white boy of all time. 
No, you just said Sue Surfer. Uh, Number four. 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 The best the best white boy of all time, of course. You put Iron Solomon in there? Yeah. yeah. He ain't better than Pat Stay, man. Nah, he wasn't this. outside, man. He was not outside. Pat Stay was outside the whole time Iron Solomon was outside, nigga. What? Battle Stop rap? Beat battle rap without man. niggas like Cassidy and man. Eminem and... and I don't even want to say shit. Man, Pat Stay would smoke that nigga boots. Mm -hmm. That's why I say Pat Stay over Iron Solomon. And that's why... And no disrespect, but a white boy can't be over number five. Hold on, too many hard niggas above white boy in battle rap. No, no disrespect. No, no disrespect. Okay, so Eminem number five. <laughs> six number four. Ready for surf. You said, you said, dude. I, I agree. Say, I agree. You said Iron Solomon. You put Eminem over Iron Solomon? I don't think Paste would would be Iron Solomon. I think Paste would be Iron Solomon and Eminem. I think he'll be Eminem. Today. Number four. Not in 2000. Nutty Block Crib. <laughs> Nutty Block Crib. Number crib. Nutty Block Crib. Hey, he nasty. He done beat all the best. He beat the best. He fuck with the best. He never really. I ain't never seen him get his boot smoke. Ever. The nigga is in every battle. Every battle is debatable with him or he won. Number four to crib. Number four to crib. Man. That seemed too long. I knew he. Crib. I knew he was gonna look. He don't know my list. He thought he did. <laughs> that just fucked him up. Cause that's my favorite battle rapper. Gigi Gotti be smoking niggas or time. Number three. <laughs> number three, dad. Verb. Verb number three. Top three, man. <laughs> When KCJ beat when KCJ beat Aver, I could have cried. Damn. I could have cried. When I don't he did. think. I don't think he lost that battle. Though. When he did, I am a grinder. Yeah, I ain't think he lost that battle. I could have cried, bro. Yeah. So that's the only clear what loss he got. Hell. Besides no. Kayshawn, who else he just clearly lost to? He lost to K Shine. Um, People say he lost to Cliffs, but I thought that was closer than what it was. He lost to Easy, but it was close. I don't remember. I don't remember how close that was, but I don't it think was he real lost. Close. I don't was, think he lost to Easy though. It was, I, the only, I, the only it, one I know that he lost to that I was like, that's facts. He lost was K Shine. He lost to Hustle. He lost to K. He ain't lose to Hustle. Yeah. He was talking to that bitch. So Go back, like you told me, go back and listen to that. Nigga, you tripping. He, he ain't, ain't look, he don't beat he, bitches. No, he ain't have performance on Hustle. He did not have performance. Like, like how he had uh, performance on Bonnie, he ain't had that on Hustle. So, so I need to listen to the battle while oh, I'm watching. Oh, my God, he was talking to that bitch so. Okay, I'm going to listen to oh it and I ain't going to watch God, he was talking to that he bitch He lost to Easy. But it's 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 so close that they both made the cover. Of People say he lost to uh, Gucci Gotti, and I thought he won in that though. It's so, real like, close, but I got, I'm he here. He smokes Sue Surf boots, nigga in Chicago. Destroy <laughs> Surf, and that's the he reason he up his surf. man too though. Hitman one of the goats though. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason Verb is number three because he got quotables. Yeah. Uh, hey, Big Gerald. Hey, Big Gerald. He got the guardian. Guardian angel, angel duck. Oh, my God. Hey, timid guys. And Scotty beam up energized. The <laughs> iron low. <laughs> the iron low. Uh, let me put my bitch weave in. Yeah. That nigga got them things, man. Number three for me. Your favorite battle rapper, Sue Surf. Sue Surf number three of all time. He do not lose. Clearly, except for the a -verse, Yes, he man. do. He lost a bunch of battles. Clearly. He lost to Lux. Okay. He lost to Lux. 40. No, that wasn't clear. I don't think that was clear. I don't think that was clear. I think he beat 40. Yeah, I don't think that was clear. I thought he beat 40, too. Personally, I got Me, me too. I Personally, got I got That's why I said, why you going to bring up that one? Personally. The Lux one, I can't argue. The Verb one, I can't argue. He lost to Verb. He lost to Calico the first time. I he don't know, and you done already said it on the podcast every time we watch that motherfucker, you don't know. Yeah, but I've been watching it. 
Yeah, I thought he lost the first one too. His ass lost. But he lost the tuna. It was close. He lost the tuna. Tuna. I, I always told you that too, though. He lost the yeah, tuna. I always told you that too. But he don't just be look. He didn't get smoked by shit. Tuna. I named five. He ain't get smoked by tuna. No, and he ain't get smoked by cow. He ain't get smoked by luck. He ain't get. Nah, he got smoked by Lux. Nah, Lux, Lux was white, bro. His, Lux smoked his boots. Lux was light. I did not. I I blocked out Sue Surfing. I never do that. Lux was light. That's how dookie both of them was. Um, What's your number? He might have lost to Rum. Nah, nah, you on who? To Rum Nitty. Watch it again. I'm going to have to watch that again. Watch it again. He might have lost because he... Cause he nah, he lost, he lost to Gucci Gotti too. Nah. Yeah, look, that's the one we be arguing about. He might have danced every round on Geechee. Nah, no, not facts. Not facts. Geechee got that. He might have danced every round, but it's definitely 2 1. What about the Sue Surf versus Kayshawn number one? He lost to Kayshawn. No, he did not, nigga. Yeah, that's That was Asia Dean and all that shit. Yeah, that cool. that's Asia that Dean. Nah, nigga. that shit was fire. Kayshawn was fire. Hey, why you say number one like it's a number two? No, I'm saying that uh, Summer Madness number one. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, number okay. two, all time. Number two, all time. Let's check the list. Because you just said some niggas is off your list. So Mook and Lux ain't number one and two. Number two, all time. A nigga that I've never seen take off balance. The consistency. It's the reason he number two and nobody expect this. Calico. And he out of the mention. Oh, you did put him out of Okay, damn, who the fuck is your number two? Hollow the dime. Hollow the dime. My honorable mention made this nigga number two. That nigga rap. It different. was a point of time for me. He was the greatest. I thought he was the GOAT. He was. That's facts. <laughs> He was, nigga. Before he, um... Uh, and he still never took off, bro. So, before Lux beating, anything before that, I thought Hollow the Don was the greatest. But he but he didn't take off the Lux. No, I ain't say he took off. I said before he lost so to Lux. So, I could think of, off the I top of my head, I, I could think of, off the top of my head, two people that beat him. Lux and DNA. He took off neither battle, though. They just beat him. Nah, Verb beat him, too. Man, stop it. Close battle. I'm talking about clear yeah, wins. Verb, so. That's clear for me, bro. I'm sorry. I hear what you're saying, but like Verb beat me. I feel like Verb beat me like both Bird times. Be like, I feel like, like Verb beat him. I feel like Verb beat him, Because, listen. I, I feel like Verb beat Because I thought Hollow won the first yeah, time. Uh, I went back yeah, after Bird that battle the second time. Shit. Timid guy, Scotty, beat him up, energy. I went back he after that battle the second shit. day, did the one round. Y'all come nigga. through like tamed up pups, something. Oh, and do you know the culture that's say how a one run round? No after? way in hell. No way in hell. I don't understand. Bird was talking that shit to him, man. Man, I feel like Bird beat him both times. All right, I'm with you. Hollow is a good number two because he was the goat for about three years for me. But number two, Loaded Lux. God, head. I don't give a fuck what this nigga talking about. It ain't fair and all that. Nigga, he got the best body bag of all time, man. All first verse. That boy is crazy. He got bars, performance, every... What What do you... What Lux don't got? That's what I'm going to ask you. Everything. What Lux don't got? No weakness. How he didn't make your top five just because everybody else was got him? Hey, I'm with everybody else. That nigga deserved that thing. Yeah. Um, number one. Because I wanted to do some fresh blood. And I ain't never seen this nigga take off for a few times. Probably two times. The Crip. Geechee Gotti. Nigga, you was a bitch. He is number one of all time. Right now. Nah, you said it all time. We said all time. Lux is number one of all time, but nah, he's not we, there. Damn, you ain't even honorable mention my number one. Nigga, nope. you crazy. Number one all time. Hey, Verb, Midwest, nigga. 
What the fuck? He done beat Geechee. He done beat Lux. He done beat Mook. He done beat that like, nigga you brought to the table that's in your top five, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? Verb Stop it. Verb. No, Verb is not. Oh, you put him number three? Verb ain't number one, you crazy. Verb number three. Um, you consistency. crazy. Consistency. What consistency did he lack? What did he take off? Talk about. You don't even watch other battles other than you are in. That ain't true. When he take off. Um, no, nah, you said it don't count unless it's URL. That's not. Nah, say that's facts. Say that's not facts what you said to me a thousand times. It don't count if it ain't URL. When he took off. No, nah, hold on, man. When he took off. He, he, he take off on <laughs> bitches. That's what I said. He lost to hustle. On the URL? He lost. That well, was on URL? He, ring. he lost to he lost to Casey. On URL, okay, Casey. What else? He lost to he. He might This is Elvis with the... Uh, man, we just said I was quotable. How is he number three? Number three, he got Did portables. you say him number three? Yeah, because I said him... Cause I said Hold on, run your, run your five back. I got to hear it. Number five, Eminem, because he white. Okay. Number four, Sue Surf, because he black. Okay. Number three, A-Verb, because of the quotables. Okay. Number two... Hollow the Don because he hollow. Okay. Number one, Geechee Gotti because I wanted some new blood and I'm basing it on. I fuck the with six. your list though. Your list is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But I think mine is ridiculous too. I think yours is ridiculous. Number five, too. best white boy of all time, Pat State. Number four, Geechee Gotti. Nutty Block Crip. Nutty Nigga, block number three, Compton. Sue Surf. Number That's two, 60s. Deluxe. Nigga, number Come one, on. Midwest Finest. Nigga, hey, Virgin. I mean, this shit crazy. Yeah, you mean, we'll nigga. never get to an agreement. So on that note, I've been Nino OG. <laughs> this is my last time being in Young OG. Yeah. That's my OG. Rick James, man. This the podcast. Podcast. That nigga ain't got time to be naming this shit. Y'all know what time to do with me. Go get that motherfucking Patreon, nigga. And two, no, $400. Big foes. When four, we get four, to 1,000 subscribers, four, four. man. Hey.